Today we're going to have a look at the range on your new Leaf. EVs drive a little differently from combustion cars. They have a bit less energy on board, but they're a lot more efficient with it. It's easy to get carried away enjoying all the torque and find that you use more power than you meant to. Now, none of this really matters around town, but if you're headed out, or if you have a big commute, it might help to consider a couple of these things. Starting with the outside, Leafs are pretty aerodynamic, but you can interrupt the airflow if you leave stuff on the roof. Right, roof racks, bike racks, trays, they all impact the range, and whilst you won't notice this doing 30 in traffic, you will see a bit of a hit at highway speed. Even mud flaps can make a dent in your range if you spend a lot of time at 100 k's an hour. And towing is another big consumer of electrons. Even an empty trailer can hit a battery hard. Again, fine around town where you have regen to help out, but at highway pace it will have an impact. Basically factor in 50% loss of range when towing. I think what I'm saying is Mad Max style leaves just look so cool, but they do not go very far. Another big contributor is tyre pressure. We put the recommended tyre pressures inside the driver's door, so check your tyre pressures regularly. Moving inside, there are a couple of features that can really help you get the most out of your battery. On the Carwings models, you can go to the zero emissions settings and display all the things in the car that are using energy. A good rule of thumb is you use less energy heating the person than you would heating the car, so use the heated seats and steering wheel if you have it. Air conditioning, wipers, lights, they all use energy from the traction battery, but you need to see and you need to be comfortable. You can also display your average kilometers per kilowatt hour in the instrument panel to help you drive efficiently. So it's a good idea to reset this at the start of every journey. Using B mode or braking mode will increase the regen, so will E pedal if you have it, and it's very good at around town recovering energy, but it will reduce the rolling efficiency when you're out on the highway. The car will not roll on the flats or downhill, so switch between modes as you need it. Use the regen to control your speed, but use D mode when you need to roll smoothly. Carrying extra weight will impact the range as the car has to work harder going uphill. It actually has a positive effect downhill because of regenerative braking, but it's pretty minor. So you are better off leaving the duff duffs and the bags of sand behind if you need to get places. The biggest tool to increase your range is usually found in the driver's seat. Driving over 100 k's an hour will noticeably hit the range, meaning you have to charge sooner and for longer. So for this alone, it's worth keeping to the speed limit. The more you slow, the further you go. So if there's no one else behind you and you're not in a hurry, you can drive even slower and get even more range. Cruise control, whilst great for comfort and safety, will always prioritise speed and not account for hills. So for range, slow down uphill and let the car roll a bit faster downhill. Around town, the biggest factor you can control is your driving. Accelerate smoothly and plan braking in advance to maximise your regen. The car has an eco mode, but if you're careful with all of your inputs, then you can be just as efficient with or without it. And that's the story on getting the most out of your Nissan Leaf.